Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be starting the renovations on my early 1960s GB dollhouse. So here it is in its original glory. You can see it's absolutely filthy. I have to take a magic eraser to it. But the door, there's no way that that's going to come clean. And the top floor, oh boy, she's really, really, really super warped. So we're going to have to find something to bring that back into shape. So she's looking pretty rough, so let's get busy working on her. <laughs> So first of all, I think the best thing to say about this dollhouse is uh, it's just painted plain and it's two big giant rooms. So I've decided to use some coffee stir sticks and cut them all up with my little trusty guillotine cutter and install them on the main floor. And I guess the big secret to doing um, hardwood flooring in doll's houses is just to make sure that the sticks are staggered. As you can see, I kind of got to start on it already. So basically what I'm going to do is, is just use some tacky glue here and uh, stick them down and fill the entire room with, uh, with these sticks. I think that... Uh, um, using the coffee stir sticks in a 124 scale house is really um, kind of adds, uh, I don't know, kind of a look of flair to the house. Um, I really, really, really like hardwood flooring. I think it belongs in doll houses for sure. Um, so here I am, I've got like about 50% of it done. And as you can see, it's turning out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I've been working at it over the course of the last couple of days and I've had a little had a little help from a friend. Hey, Carlos, you would make the world's worst flooring contractor. You would get fired from the job for eating all of the flooring. Hmm? Are you a good boy? Are you eating my floor? As long as you eat the ones that are, are not in the dollhouse yet. Unless they're in the dollhouse, they're mine. You can have all the ones from outside of the dollhouse. Is it good? Want another one? There you go. Such a good helper. You're such a good helper. You my helper boy? Mm -hmm. Another one? Would you like another one? There Thank you for helping, Carlos. Okay, you're fired for destroying all the property. Well, as you can see, I've got this floor in. I haven't sanded it yet, but... Uh, I did get it in, so I don't know. That's got to be at least 350 stir sticks in there. <laughs> so as soon as I get it sanded, it'll be good. And I did touch up the paint. I got a good paint match on it and uh, touched up the paint there. And then I took a magic eraser to the rest of it, so it's looking pretty clean. A lot better than what it was. So not much I can do about the paper because you can't really scour the paper. I'm going to end up uh, losing uh, all of the paper on it. So for the wall, I'm thinking I'm going to use this. Now what this is, is it's from the dollar store and it came with like, um, I'm not sure if it came with beads in it or little wooden pieces. And I thought, oh, that would be perfect. It would make like a good little bookshelf, but it also would make a 
perfect wall to help support that slopey uh, mess of a floor there. So I got some bare marquee um, paint and primer all in one. And uh, with the magic of the internet, I think I'm going to paint it now. Voila, there it is. So I did it in kind of an ivory white. This is just the first coat and the back isn't painted yet. But as you can see, once it's in there to support that uh, top floor, I'll be able to put books and knickknacks and all kinds of things on that little wall. So, and hopefully it'll do a good job of uh, making the floor upstairs level. So here I am, I've got uh, painter's tape all around the hardwood floor. It's really important not to use just regular masking tape, but to actually go out and buy high quality tape because I mean really you know you're not really saving anything if uh, your paint or your stain leak through and destroy what you're trying to create so I'm using this uh, bare it's waterproof stains and sealer and this is semi-transparent which probably wouldn't be any good if you weren't prepared to wipe it off immediately because you want to be able to see the wood grain through your hardwood floor. So here I am opening up my can and I'm going to, I know it kind of looks like a yucky color, but once it's on, it actually turned out pretty good. So I put it on quite generously and then make sure I get it in all of the grooves and into the cracks. And uh, as soon as I've put it on, I don't want to leave it on for too long. I want to get after it and wipe it off. And as you can see here, it's you're going to be able to see the grain through it. So, of course, like this is only the first step in uh, preparing the floor. Um, I still have to put uh, a shiny coat on it. Um, and, you know, I really don't like my hardwood floors like super, super shiny. I kind of rather have more of a semi-gloss kind of look and uh, I've had pretty good luck luck using um, Mod Podge so but I don't I don't like the high gloss Mod Podge I like the semi-gloss Mod Podge it makes the floors look a little bit more natural in my opinion so I'm just gonna finish uh, coating this entire floor in stain and uh, after I'm finished coating it with stain, of course, I'm going to wipe it off fairly quickly. And we'll see what kind of look we can get here. Voila! What do you think? I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, again, this has not got any coating on it. It's just, uh, just stained and that's it. So here's kind of a little bit of a final tour of the house. But we got lots more work to do. And of course, we've got a lot of interruptions. <laughs> Are you fired? Yeah. Are you ready? Ready, 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 ready? <gasps> yeah. Are you ready, ready, ready? <gasps> Peekaboo. Are you ready? Ready? <laughs> oh, what a guy. What a guy. Thank you for watching. We're going to have lots of fun doing this house together. Please subscribe and hit that like button.